I am now going to show a simple inbound scenario. We will first create the purchase order and inbound delivery in ECC. This will get replicated in EWM. We will then do manual goods receipt in EWM and carry out the put away tasks. Upon completion of the warehouse task, we will show that stock has moved from the ZR zone to the specified bins. Now I am going to create purchase order. We enter a sample vendor we created. Now we enter the currency. We have created two demo materials for this purpose. Test mat XX. And also test mat XY, and we're going to put the quantity as a five each, and plant we're going to. Is a BQ zero eight and storage location is LE zero two and in confirmation key we're going to mention we're going to do inbound delivery in ECC for test mat XX. And we are going to do the same again for test mat XY in ECC. Then we are going to save that. So purchase order has been created and been saved. Now we are going to do inbound delivery. For this purchase order, So this is the inbound delivery screen. System picked our purchase order. So this can distribute it in warehouse management. So now this inbound delivery distributed to extended warehouse management. So I go to save this inbound notification number. In EWM server, we're going to create, we're going to see is being distributed to our uh, EWM warehouse. So this is a ERP document number. We're going to take this number yes this is access successfully distributed to our extended warehouse management warehouse and 
we are going to open our warehouse monitor. This is a warehouse monitor, a central tool for keeping warehouse managers constantly up to date as the current situation in the warehouse. We will use this observe the stock quantities in the warehouse. Now we are going to check our stock, available stock. Our product is test mat XX and test mat XY. We can see the our stock in the bins test mat XX in 120 and test mat XY in 37 and also in the GR zone 25 in a test mat XX. Now we are going back to our screen in inbound delivery screen and we are doing the goods receipt. So goods receipt is completed. So we're going back to our monitor screen. Refresh. We can see the stock has been increased in test mat XX and also we got test mat XY in a five. Now we're going back to the screen. PRDI screen and we're going to create warehouse task for put away. We go to create and save. So the two warehouse tasks they are created. Going back. So we're going to display our warehouse task. Display warehouse task. So this two warehouse task has been created. We can see this number. This warehouse task refer to the put away of the stock from ZR zone to the destination bins. We will assume that a warehouse worker has completed the put away task physically and, and we will confirm this task here. So we have to select the both line and confirm and save. Now we can see Varos status has been confirmed. The task the task status is now confirmed in the system. Now we are going to do see our Varos uh, monitor. We can also see that the stock has moved to the de destination bins. the quantity for the test mat xx in the storage area z010 has increased from 120 to 125 and the quantity for the test mat xy in storage area z011 has increased from 37 to 42. Now we're going to see our PRDI screen. So so now we're going to refresh the screen and we can see the warehouse task has been completed. So that concludes the demonstration of our simple inbound scenario. Thank you.